Happy holidays, everybody out there listening to me, the Stardom Samurai. It's the day after Christmas here in Pennsylvania, the east coast of the United States, and I've just sat down to watch Stardom from 1223 in Warabi. I think that's how you say it. Um, looks like a decent show, a bunch of tag matches, regular tags, and six-man tags, so it's not anything amazing, but hey, it's stardom, so it will be amazing wrestling, I guarantee you that. First match kicked off, it was a regular tag team match that saw the return of Saki Kashima, we haven't seen her in a little while, teaming with Hanako, interesting team up there, someone big enough for Saki Kashima to hide behind, and they faced Mina Shirakawa in the rookie sen sensation Yuzuki. Now, this match was good for what it was, an opening card on a small show full of tag matches. That's not to say it was bad. I'm not saying it was bad. I did see Yuzuki flub up, botch a, a move here or there. It wasn't anything big, wasn't anything anyone would get hurt by, but there was a move or two that I saw go kind of badly. Um, Hanako was involved in one of them, so it might have been hard. Look, if you're the victim... If you're the person taking a Hurakurana, and I'm not here to be a wrestling coach, especially to amazing wrestlers like this, but look, just my advice, as a, as a fan and as a one-time participant in professional wrestling, um, if you are going to be taking a Hurakurana, a head scissors, if you will, and it doesn't connect, you know, your opponent who, who hooks your head doesn't hook your head, sort of hooks your face, you know, just misses it, don't sell it, don't flip over. Because it's it's just so obvious what happened. Just brush it off and call an audible and just start pounding on your opponent because they missed the move. Something like that. Just That's just one piece of advice, and that was one of the moves that was flubbed. Didn't ruin the match, but it was very noticeable. There was another one I think it involved striking. I don't recall because it wasn't that bad. But the match was what it was. Not bad. I am getting tired of Saki Kashima the Coward. Look, I don't know if it's because Saki just accepts she's never going to get any better than she is and has been, and so she's just going to play the coward, literally hiding behind her teammates. She's a member of God's Eye, which is just screwy. They're supposed to be making her better. I have Just when I thought I had seen her getting better and, and more powerful and more serious, here she plays the coward all match long, uh, sneaking, stealing the pin when Hanako delivers a big... Suplex. Yes, the ending was a suplex to Yuzuki from the giant Hanako, hitting her so hard onto the mat, Saki Kashima rolled in and took the pinfall victory and celebrated like she won at WrestleMania. Um, again, that is what it is. Um, I don't despise it. It's better than Death Fukaigen, but not much. I'm just tired of Saki Kashima, the heel. She looked great, though. Loved her new gear. The match was good for an opening match. I think Mina Shirakawa deserves better than this match, but I know it's not just me, but that is what it is. Like I said, not a bad match, just nothing great on a show full of matches that are just nothing great. Again, not talking about the wrestling, just the overall importance of this whole entire show. But I'm watching it, and I'd never miss it, because it's World Wonder Ring Stardom, baby.